first of all, what is the black market? Where is the black market located? The black market is a separate market from the regular market. So we have the Carillion marketplace over here, right? Every city has their own marketplace. Let's go to Martlock. They have their own marketplace, the Martlock marketplace. In Carillion, there are technically two system markets, okay? You have the Carillion market, and right beside that is the black market. The black market is the way that the game actually buys items from players, directly from players. Can you buy stuff from the black market? No, you cannot buy um, stuff from the black market. You can sell stuff from the black market though, and that's what we're going to do. All right, let's just try to sell this great axe over here. Estimated value of great axe is 33,000. 33,000 across everything. Now you can sell it to the black market for 40,000. Now you can go back and forth. You can sell it for the black market to the black market for 40,000. You can go to the regular market, we'll call that the Carolian market and try to see where you can sell it more. It's 39,000. It's 40,000 in It's basically the same price. Now, what is the advantage of actually selling to the black market? I prefer selling to the black market because this is the way the system actually distributes loot in chests. So if you sell stuff to the black market, the game actually takes that item and redistributes it to chests, mob drops, the things that you pick up from doing any activity uh, in the game. So any opening chests, if you see like a, an item there that was sold to the black market by someone and the benefit of the black market especially selling like non-artifact items is the demand look at this every day for a good quality tier 6 great axe the black market is buying 900 600 700 and let's compare that to the carolian market so if you sell it to the black market it's buying like 600 700 per day now if you sell it to the regular market they're buying 60, 45, 50, right? 60, not even breaking 100 per day. So that means if you sell it to the black market, you can sell it a lot faster because of the demand. So that is one of the benefits why you want to sell to the black market. Now you can go back and forth, right? You can go back and forth, Carolian market, black market, if you want to, if you have time for that. But for me, the thing that I do is I just check the estimated value. The estimated value is 2200. Can I sell it for more in the black market? If the answer is yes, and then just, I just sell it. 2200 estimated value, I can sell it for 6100. This has 7000 estimated value, and you can sell it for 12000. Now, there are things that you may want to sell to the regular market compared to the, the black market. Artifact meta weapons usually sell a lot faster in the regular market and this is a, one of the examples and uh, let's split this for example here so the estimated value here is 159,000. you can sell it for 179 in the black market but if you look at the demand literally five days nothing has been sold five days for this specific weapon usually all right usually these artifact weapons are the things that you don't want to sell to the black market. This is also like a double whammy because Death Givers is part of the meta right now for solo. So if you look at that, instead of selling it to the black market, since it is a meta weapon and it is an artifact weapon, you are probably better off selling it to the, the regular market. Now, if you look at this price right here, it's a very good example. You have 130, 159, 169, 173. Let's look at the demand for the outstanding quality. All right. There's better demand in the Carolion market. Now, will I sell it one silver less than this? No, I will not. I will sell it one silver less than near the estimated value over here, the average price. Now, I know for a fact that yesterday there was 11 death givers that was sold 5.1 death givers that's outstanding uh, sold 
So instead of undercutting this, because this is really dumb, you shouldn't really do this anyways. He wanted to sell the Death Giver so bad that he undercut it by 30,000, which is again, really, really dumb. I would actually undercut this, this right here. Once they sell, uh, they buy four, you already are in this specific uh, market price. So instead of undercutting the lowest sell order, I will undercut the sell order that makes sense. This one right here. It may take a little longer to sell, but it is going to be sold. Um, similarly to like this um, battle axe over here, 17,000 17, for 5.1. Let's look at the, the black market price. For this specific 5.1 good quality, around average 200 has been sold this past week per day. Now this is different. Completely different from the normal quality. Normal quality ones, not a lot of demand. And another demand for outstanding quality. When the black market actually buys these specific items, 5.1 good quality, it has a different demand from like 5.1 normal quality. So you know the demand for these items are really, really high. Again, you can go back and forth. Honestly, you can go back and forth to the Carillion market or to the black market, see if you can sell it faster in the black market, higher in the Carillion market or whatever. My specific strategy for selling to the black market is basically looking at the estimated price. If the estimated price is lower than the price that I can sell it for, I just sell it for one silver loss. That's it. Look at that, 7K, 12K, okay? 8K, 19K, just sell it. Okay, there's a healthy demand there. There you go. 19k. And that's it. That's pretty simple. Like this one, I can sell it for 108, it says. I can sell it for 108. But if I sell it to the black market, I'm going to sell it for 76. So obviously, looking at this, Battle Axe Tier 6 sells for per. 36,000. It sells for 26 or 20,000, 20 odd something thousand silver in the Carolyn market. With just that alone, I can just go, all right, let me just sell this then to the regular market. All right. That alone is a telltale sign that if the estimated value is much, much lower, you'd probably like check, all right, check the, the other market for better prices. The other benefit of selling to the black market is that you are filling up the loot table. That means you are actually contributing to how much players like you can get from the chests in Corrupted Dungeons, Hellgates, Solo Dungeons. You are contributing to that pool. Meaning if we all sell to the black market or at least increase the frequency at which we sell to the black market, there is definitely going to be better loot in all of the activities in Albion Online. So it's like a win-win situation. You get more silver because you're selling to the black market and you get more loot in return because there are more available items that players can loot because of the higher number of items from the loot table. Obvi there are some times when I'm getting really, really lazy this is estimated value of 80,000. There's a sell order right now or a buy order from the game. This buy order is not a buy order by another player. This buy order is a buy order from the game. So I really just want to sell this. Estimated value of 80,000. I can sell it for 134. That's a, like a no-brainer for me. I can just sell that right away. Estimated value for two claws. It's 5,600. I can sell it for 5,600 per, so meaning I get 10,000. Dagger pair, this is interesting. You can sell it to the black market. I would rather sell this to the black market. I know this is meta right now, but look at the estimated value, 108. I can sell it for 133. I can probably sell it higher to the Carolian market, but if it's like almost the same, I would rather sell to the black market just because I know I am adding to the loot table. Death Givers, 143k, selling it for 73k. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it there. So that's how you can take advantage of the black market. I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. 
because you can make a lot more silver and at the same time you're helping the game you're helping other players to get more loot in their respective activities give it a shot the demand in the black market is so high they don't really need to wait a long time for most of the stuff to be sold in the black market so you get your silver right away the way that it works is that this buy order depending on like the quality depending on a lot of factors this value will increase over time so right now the black market or the system wants to buy a 5.1 good quality ironclad staff for 17 50 uh, 17,520. if no one sells this specific item for this price the system will increase its value over time as soon as it hits the sell order that's a very important um, thing to note for the black market so if i sell it for one silver less than the lowest sell order and this price increases over time and it matches my sell order that means the market or the system will buy my item put it in the loot table and this price will reset to zero and increase 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 up until someone satisfies that specific price 